Uh, thank you, Chairman. Uh, the Chairman uh, has, has referenced uh, the importance of an AUMF in this context. I, I know the Chairman of the Committee, Senator Cardin, also uh, ar articulated that. And I would just emphasize, his, historically it's been important to me that Congress takes its uh, prerogatives as it relates to authorizing force seriously, in part because I feel like this, this strengthens the hand of our Commander-in-Chief and our warfighters in reestablishing deterrence. And so uh, as this conversation move, moves forward, the details will matter, but I really I, I want to emphasize that and, uh, and relatedly dive into a number of follow-up questions on, on this uh, war powers concern we have. So Mr. Shapiro, I'll begin with you. Um, in this setting, can you, can you walk through y your understanding? I, I know you refer us to the Office of Legal Counsel of the department's legal views on unilateral U.S. action. Feel free to challenge any premises I have here, but unilateral U.S. action to defend commercial ships of foreign nations. Uh, thank you, Senator. Uh, the President, again, uh, has uh, directed these strikes uh, consistent with the Article II uh, authority as Commander-in-Chief uh, to protect and defend U.S. personnel and certain partners. That's an important element. We have partners uh, in this coalition, uh, and uh, it is fully within the President's authority as Commander-in-Chief uh, to make those. Uh, is, uh, is, is there a precedent you're looking to? Uh, give me just one. Uh, that uh, gives a legal basis for Operation Prosperity Guardian's multilateral defense of shipping. Yeah, uh, Senator, I'd have to defer to colleagues to find the historical precedents uh, for that, uh, but that is a uh, inherent uh, part of the President's uh, Article II authority. I, I, I've got to say, did you not anticipate questions about the legal rationale before you came before the subcommittee? Senator, we, we did indeed, and those are the, the answers that uh, we believe provide the President the authority to conduct these uh, operations, both the defensive uh, operations and indeed uh, okay. proportional That's, responses. This is about as rigorous as, uh, I'll say for the record, not for you, of course, because uh, you've, you've been tasked with, with being here, but um, <clears throat> those are about as specific as, as the administration's rationale. Uh, that they gave with the War Powers uh, notification. So we're going to need more information on a, on a going forward basis. Um, reporting in Bloomberg stated uh, a legal theory is being developed by the administration that operations in international waters aren't even considered hostilities or that brief and intermittent strikes don't constitute hostilities and thus would not trigger the War Powers resolution. Can you speak to that? Uh, I'm not familiar with that legal theory. Uh, the uh, strikes... Uh, I think I read about this in the New York Times. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that legal theory from uh, internal yeah. conversations uh, within the administration. Uh, the uh, strikes against uh, U.S. vessels, against international mariners, uh, are strikes certainly when it involves U.S. ships uh, that the U.S. Navy is, is, is obligated and has the right to defend against in international waters. Uh, and uh, there are necessary and proportionate responses under Article sure. uh, 51 I, of the United Nations Charter. Has the United States military entered into hostilities with the Houthis? Yes or no? I, I, I represented the administration. These are strikes uh, on Houthi targets. Uh, that might be the, the a correct term. I don't know if that's the correct legal term uh, for what we're engaged in, but we obviously have struck, uh, as I said, uh, many, many targets uh, in Yemen uh, where the Houthis have weapons that they have used and are using and, uh, and sometimes are in the process of using sure. uh, against us and against our partners. What is, uh, I'll, I'll change gears a little bit, what's the long-term assessment of what authorities the administration is going to need if it continues this prolonged exchange of fire with the Houthis? It's very hard to speculate on uh, hypotheticals about how the conflict could evolve. Uh, until now, I think we feel very strongly the president has the authorities, the ones I've articulated. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's any question, and this hearing is part of that, that the administration is committed to consult with Congress uh, on uh, additional actions uh, going forward and, yeah. and the authorities uh, under which that would be conducted. Thank you. W what's the administration's anticipated endpoint at, at which it assesses it has restored deterrence. We need to see the Houthis stop these attacks. Uh, we clearly have not seen that yet. 
They clearly feel that it serves uh, some interest, whether it's an internal one, whether it's an Iranian agenda, uh, whether it's a regional uh, raising of their profile, uh, and whatever it is, and we have removed and degraded considerable capability. They still have capability. Yes, sir. Uh, so until they stop, uh, we, are, we are not done. So just extending that, not done, can you characterize for me what level of military activity uh, is, is going to be necessary, the administration is prepared to take, to reach that end point so that they're not done? I, I, Senator, again, it's very hard to speculate. Much of it depends on when they decide they have uh, endured enough of the uh, strikes that we uh, and degraded enough of the capability that we are, are capable of and, and exercising now on, 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 on an ongoing basis. Uh, we hope to restore stability and de-escalate tensions in the region very soon. So we don't want to assume this will take uh, a, a particular amount of time. Uh, we want to uh, use all the tools and the partners and the capabilities we have uh, to make very clear to them and, of course, to Iran, their, their supporters and sponsors, uh, that this must end and we will continue to take action until it comes to an end. Chairman. 